Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Crescent Bay Saga, where we are here with Anuga, our young and very angry werewolf, who is currently, okay, shouting a bunch of forbidden words into the night under the moon. I wonder if she can actually go ahead. Let's have her help. I feel like she's coming out to go ahead and howl because she's had a bit of a rough day. She's just Oh, you can hear some of the other werewolves howl. That's so cool. She's just really not quite feeling sure of where her future is supposed to go. And her brother has been getting on her case about applying for her GED and trying to go ahead and like follow some formal education. Like he is doing all of his medical studies, even though he is up so late at night trying to juggle both taking care of his family. Well, actually juggle more than two things, taking care of his family going ahead and progressing as a doctor in medical school, and also trying to watch over his wayward sister, who apparently is having bladder issues. And I would go ahead and use the tool mod to just put down a convenient bush around here. Uh, but guess what, friends? We're actually lacking the ability to do that because Vima, the fairy godmother descendant, has gone ahead and spent all of our money on her new shiny crystal collection, as well as a new magic tome that is all about learning how to make an alluring aura potion. So we might actually have her start dabbling in potion making just a touch because I could totally see where Stefan wants to use potions to try to help heal people and to try to make sure that they're able to go ahead and have an even better uh, future than what medical science alone could provide. I could see his fiance, mostly through a political marriage, but he thinks that it's going to be like sincere. I could see her using potions in a bad way to like use on people without their permission. Also, I think flirty, <laughs> extremely flirty. Uh, oh my gosh, we could set that on fire. Oh, okay. That's hilarious. We're not going to do it though. But I think Flirty Vima carved a bonsai tree I didn't even know we had back in this corner. So that's kind of hilarious. Uh, but poor Stefan, he's juggling all of that. I think we will go ahead and maybe try to get Vima just a little bit of magic. I don't, she does not have enough magic to really be like a witch, but I do think she has enough fairy godmother blood uh, to attract the birds and butterflies and have plants just grow in her feet uh, or around her feet, I should say. It'd be a little more concerning if they grew in her feet to say the freaking least. Uh, but I could see her actually, um, like using potions in ways they're not supposed to be used. So we'll have to see how that will work out. And meanwhile, we have a whole bunch of books that Stefan actually brought home. Uh, I think, let me open this up because we should have a ton of new ones. Yeah, the werewolf who came in from the cold. I'm going to give that to our girl Anuga. I think she does. Peter Barker's first moon. <laughs> I think she does actually enjoy reading quite a bit. We're going to do Herbalism Volume 1 for Stefan. Then we have my Pizza Polka Cat. I'm going to go ahead and sell. I think we're going to sell some of the books that clearly just aren't quite like the books we want our Sims to be busy reading right now. Um, Crisis Barn, Orbital Pudding. The ones that just kind of come as default because I think Stefan would love to keep a huge library, but Anuga has probably destroyed so many of their books in her fits of rage over time. Uh, so we're going to sell a few of them. Oh, maybe I could afford a bush after this. And then here's the <laughs> big bad wolf rethinking harmful stereotypes. Two people have given her that book now. I think that that's kind of hilarious. Like two people independently have been like, maybe you should just kind of cool it. Uh, and then the wolf next door, which I am saying that maybe she snagged embarrassed off of the library bookshelves. So reading some of these apparently will help us out with some of our wolfness, but we also want to yeah, read werewolf books. Uh, we want to level up to runt. And I think that we do that by possibly joining a wolf pack. So I think we might try joining a wolf pack tonight. We'll see what happens. Because I'm curious about how that, that actually works. Uh, or maybe, yeah, we level up to run just by doing werewolfy things. But I don't know. Like, I, I, 
I want to think about this. So there's the Wild Fangs. The Wild Fangs are a scrappy, free-spirited group of werewolves. They believe the werewolf lifestyle is the ultimate gift, and they're going to make the most of it. The world is the Wild Fangs playground. While exploring the vast world to expand the pack's influence, members are also expected to commit to ongoing self-improvement, aiming to become the best werewolf possible. And Rory Oaklo is the pack leader of that pack. The pack leader is the only alpha rank in their pack. Wielding the power to command, discipline, and remove pack members, they are expected to set the standards for upholding their pack's values. Okay, that sounds cool. And then there's the Moonwood Collective. The Moonwood Collective is a dignified group of werewolves whose mission is to embody the union of uh, lycanthropy and philanthropy. Members are expected to be tactful, prudent, and diplomatic. They seek to make meaningful connections with all Zims. This includes mastering theory control to become the more approachable and friendly to non-werewolves. Huh. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that is definitely not the group that we would end up joining. And I guess that means we need to go ahead and we need to, like, meet with that werewolf. And I think... She's actually over here. <laughs> so I think this is actually the alpha leader of the Wild Fangs. And I think we can actually come over and try to introduce ourselves to her. So let's come and we're going to jog over here. And we will revisit where Anuga is going and if we can introduce ourselves to the leader of the pack in just a moment. And meanwhile, he is completely exhausted but very close to leveling up. So I'm actually going to go ahead and have magic, practice magic, practice practical magic. I'm going to see what happens if we have our boy Stefan late at night, tired, needing to get ready so that he can actually go ahead and work as a doctor very ridiculously soon we're gonna let him practice a little bit and he's discovered a new spell reparo yay all right i i forgot that he could actually learn things just by practicing it like that and meanwhile is he gonna level up like i feel like we're really close i mean that's probably enough that i could go ahead and like let him Go to bed. Okay, he actually... I think something's a little broken because I think he should be getting his talent points by now and he's not. So I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe he just needs more rest. Alright, we'll send him to sleep and then we'll experiment and we'll see if I can get those talent points working. Meanwhile, I think he would sigh heavily because... Oh, it's a bathroom! Alright, we'll stop here. I thought for a second we were about to go ahead and unlock the territory marking <laughs> because, um, yeah, if, if we couldn't find a bathroom, I was actually going to have Anuga unlock that because she really needs to go to the bathroom. And as a werewolf, why not? But since we were able to find a bathroom, I'll hold off. What? Where'd the leader of the pack go? Oh, she's one. Oh, hey! <laughs> It's probably a really good thing we didn't just try to go ahead and mark territory literally at her spot because I have a feeling we might have had to scrap. But she looks so tough. All right, let's sniff and introduce. I could see Anuga feeling a little bit like she would want to, she would want to look that rough and tough. She would want to be that fierce covered in scars. She's already covered in scars, like with her face, and it's always made Anuga feel a little bit self-conscious. And she's got a lot of anger to direct. So maybe meeting Rory, who also is covered in scars, would actually be a really great thing for her. Because all of the other werewolves in town who are part of that collective are clearly just almost like kept pets. They're so tidy and clean. They don't know what it's like to be hunted. They don't know what it's like to have to suffer the pain, the physical pain and emotional pain that she's had to. So maybe we will be able to go ahead, share werewolf experience. Oh, we've never had the transformation. That's right. Oh, man. What if we want to, like, join? How do we werewolf pack? Ask to be friend of the wild wing, uh, wild things. Can we do that? I totally think we would. I don't think she'd even hesitate. I think she would just dive in. 
What would it take? What would it take to join the pack? I don't know you well enough like yeah, let's get a chance to get to know each other better first. Okay, so how could we do that? Maybe spar with her? Oh, let's try sparring with her. Cause she's energized. And I feel like this would be Oh, this is absolutely the best way to go ahead and prove ourselves to the member of the pack. Come on! This is so cool! I'm so glad I have this mod that lets me go ahead. Oh, look at her claws! Man, and her hands are all dirty. All right, this is definitely turning into somebody that I think Anuga would absolutely look up to. And somebody that Stefan would probably be absolutely horrified to find out his sister is busy hanging out with. Meanwhile, have we met, oh, Ariel, hmm, an elder? Well, maybe, actually, I love the idea that Ariel here might have been a past lover of Vima, because we're looking at Vima's relationships right now. <laughs> I love the idea that, like, when he was a young man, and she was, like, a couple decades younger, they they happened to really get to know each other. Oh, I would send him a text, but it is the middle of the night. All right, Vima, you do whatever you want to do, my dear. And meanwhile, we're busy sparring out here. Does that affect our relationship with the wild things at all? I feel like it should. Let's go ahead and get to know her a little bit. Ask about career. We're straight up asking about money and career. Like, how do you make it? Oh, and she's ambitious? Oh, no. We're falling in with the wrong side, guys. We're absolutely falling in with the wrong side. So tug of war, we need transformation mastery because it's not a full moon. Taste in music. Maybe these two will have a lot to bond on. All right, so we've learned that Rory is a quote unquote freelancer. Let's ask about the werewolf packs. I think they can tell, brag about shedding. Remember, Anuga, being a werewolf isn't some big hokey sentimental burden. It's a gift. Sure, you gotta be willing to put in the work, but that doesn't make it any less of a gift. Just better yourself and get out there in the world. I've never let a single member of the Wild Things get away with being some sad sack know-it-all. Each and every member has to have fight in them. All right. She's the perfect. <laughs> Ask Rory to pursue their dream job. She's like, you're the perfect leader. We absolutely need to say that to her. I've never done that either. Sorry, Anuga doesn't know you well enough to be having this conversation. All right. Oh my gosh. I kind of love that. Can we add her to like a group and just have these two hang out together? Uh, I think I can do that. Actions. Ha ha. All right, you two. And then what do we want to do? We want to become energized, be gross. Uh, and then there's a bunch of food over here that's like mildly spoiled, but paw a plate. Ah, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I have missed this. I have missed. What is this? Was that a little bit of flirty action? Yeah, I think we're completely enamored. <gasps> that was some flirty action. I had nothing to do with that. All right, I think we're completely enamored. Hook, line, and sinker falling with the wrong person. They will never be as cool as Jean Jewel, by the way. Like, let's be clear. There's only one true love in in Anuga's heart. However, <laughs> what? She's feeling flirty? Now we're shouting some forbidden words. Where is Rory headed off to? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, there's so much drool and grossness. Oh dear. All right. We need to like add in some more chairs and things because I think that was our problem. Well, have we leveled up in werewolfness? We have not, but at least we have gone ahead. Scavenge ground together. Yes. All right. Let's bring Rory back around. And then, oh, you get fun from scavenging ground? Yes! Finally! I am being rewarded for having my sims search for collectibles like my obsessed little collectible loving heart loves. Oh, and by the way, some of the shards, like this shard we found, apparently what we want to really do is we want to put this shard into the shelves that, uh, that we actually have hidden away in a new guy's... Werewolf, let's scavenge ground together. Hidden away in Anuga's shed because these shards, if you add up enough of them, will turn into something special. <gasps> Is that a shiny plant? 
It is! Oh my gosh, it's a blackberry bush. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love, this is from Brazen Lotus, by the way. She does the most amazing retextures for the plants. They just look so fantastic. Uh, what are we doing? Just having a chat. Oh, Rory is flirting <laughs> with us. Jeez. I didn't expect that. Let's see, can we be gross? We can be gross. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and be gross. And then oh, Vima is just trolling the forms like nobody's business. I can't believe that. Uh, and then become energized and grill some hot dogs. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's how it is. Uh, let's do peeved push-ups to try to become energized. And I don't know if we're like still hanging out. Maybe Rory's just going to the restroom. It'll be really fun to upgrade this area slowly over time with the tool mod uh now that i know there's just i wish we could dig in these piles of trash and like find stuff why can't we dig in the piles of trash and find stuff actually if i think about that i feel like if you had the eco living mod or uh, eco living expansion you should be able to like dig around in here and discover things all right paw a plate you're already full my dear oh and then i guess maybe scavenge ground to yeah, it look because it looks like with the sun rising, Rory's headed out of here, but I need to get her out of our group. I just don't know where she ran off to. Okay, there she is. All right, let's go ahead. And then actions, disband group. There we go. And if she comes over, cool. If she doesn't, cool. But it looks like the most we've gained from our abilities and being able to become a better werewolf have actually primarily been from throwing uh, people around and intimidating them. I... Oh, we found some limestone. Sweet. How are we feeling? Sudden craving. Anuga needs food now. Okay, well. Is there any more werewolf stuff we can do? I don't want to ferociously intimidate because I have a feeling we would be completely destroyed. Huh? But maybe we can ask, ask one more time. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We'll ask about the beta of a root. Oh wait, that's not anything to do with the wolves. That's to do with... <laughs> that's actually to do with like, like climbing mountains. Oh my gosh. And then debate treachery of vampires, which sounds fantastic. And then Air we'll do one last away. chance no of no us to be friends no. with the Wild Fangs. Ah. And we'll see if she likes us enough for that now. Hmm? Hmm? Dang it! Alright, we still aren't trusted enough to be a member of the pack. Ah. Alright, you know what? Playing hard to get like that is probably going to make Anuga pretty excited. Darn. Alright, well at least we found, I guess, some limestone. Um, and we'll extract a fossil from inside. It's a sea monster! That's actually kind of cute. Oh, we want to collect some new metals! <laughs> oh, alright, and we're feeling very angry from shouting forbidden words, but we're not going to shout forbidden words right in her face. Maybe we can be a little more friendly. I'll let them continue talking naturally, and whenever they wander away from each other, that's just when they're ready to wander away from each other. And we'll show off some of our forbidden word shouting. We could use the workout machine while we're angry. And it looks like Rory's willing to hang out with us. So, Alright, we'll leave those two to kind of hang out. With the sun rising, I feel like we're, we're going to switch gears. And we'll pop back over to this household. Where Stefan is going to go to work. And, oh, work in two days? <laughs> And I feel like Vima would be bored out of her mind staying in this padunk little place. So she absolutely would be spending some time elsewhere. Hmm. Oh dear. And like, we're not chatting with Rory when she's flirty. All right. We're actually going to have, I'm going to figure out a way for her to like leave <laughs> either to go jogging or I think you can go scholarships. I think you can like go to skill classes and things, right? Like, can I have her go travel and do something? Volunteer. Take a vacation. Volunteer. Just her. I mean, technically, I could just send her away to volunteer over and over again. <laughs> to represent, like, wanting to be off and doing things. But I'll have to see maybe if Kawaii, um 
I think Koi Stacy has mods where you can send your sims away to do things. That would be what Vima would be up to. But all right, guys. Oh, and now we're going ahead and we're playing some guitar. Oh, hey, more werewolves. All right, Stefan is off to work after an exhausting night, and it looks like we at least know that the wild things exist this time. Uh, and Vima, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with Vima that doesn't involve being flirted with. Unless... <gasps> Drama? Wait a second. Maybe. Even though she completely thinks that the wolves are, like, so freaking gross. Uh, I could see Vima not turning down anybody who wants to flirt with her, so... Um, Huh, we might we might actually see something kind of dramatic be happening next time we come back. <laughs> so alright guys, thank you uh -huh. so much for joining me. If you guys could do please leave a like, even though we've got quite a bit of drama happening here. <laughs> and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands of more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.